Hey guys, welcome back. So today I actually really wanted to make a video. I feel like I haven't filmed in a little while, but then I realized when I got home that I left my camera at my boyfriend's house, so I couldn't actually film without my camera. So I decided to just use my iMac. So I'm really sorry if um, the quality isn't that great, but this is the best I can do at the moment. Like the title suggests, I am going to be doing my November, December favorites, just because I don't think I've done a favorites video for maybe one or two months. And now that it's somewhat um, beginning of December but heading towards the middle I thought I'd just do a really quick um, you know monthly favorites to kind of just slip it in okay so I don't have a whole lot of things with me just because I haven't really found many things lately and so that's why I haven't really been doing any favorite videos so first off I've really been loving my Clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion it's just this one right here I don't know if you guys can see because it's actually um, quite bright towards the inner part of the camera so um, that didn't really make sense but anyway so what I really like about this moisturizer is that it really moisturizes my face really well and I don't find that I get patchy spots sometimes when I apply my foundation with any other moisturizer um, such as the one that I have here, which is the QV Face Moisturizing Day Cream with SPF. Sometimes when I use this to apply my moisturizer, I feel that after I apply my foundation, there are still patches of dry spots, so it doesn't evenly distribute on my, on my face. And so I've really been loving this moisturizer. It's left my face feeling really, really smooth. And um, I find that I don't actually get that oily or dry easily during the day. So I really, really like this moisturizer. The second thing that I've been loving is my Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. Now, I haven't used this in a little while just because it was too dark for my skin tone. But now that I'm a little more tan, I've been using this mixed with um, my BB cream. And I actually just use this BRTC BB cream because I ran out of my Eat Shit House one. But I've been mixing these two together and I've been absolutely loving the effects. It leaves a really, really dewy finish on my face. And because BB cream normally leaves a really dewy finish and the Revlon Cut um, photo ready also leaves a really dewy finish these two co combined together don't really make a big difference so it's still very dewy but I like it because um, I don't know I just find that if I use BB cream I feel like I'm not suffocating my face as much as just putting on foundation and also I feel like I get less of a coverage which in summer I find is very important because you don't really want to suffocate your skin and have a lot of coverage on your face. Okay so I've been loving these two and actually to apply these two what I use is um, my Sigma flat top synthetic kabuki brush it's the f80 brush that you guys have um been hearing raved on youtube so it's just this one right here it actually came in a lot smaller than i thought um actually i haven't been using this brush all month in fact i only received it probably a couple of days ago but i absolutely love this brush i actually look forward to applying my foundation in the mornings now just because i have this brush and i go in with this kabuki brush and then i just tap it on the top and then i start from like my nose or cheek area first and then i kind of just start dabbing out and then I blend it in with um, a kind of circular motion. By the way, I'm not wearing any foundation today because I was going to do a, t a tutorial but then I realized that I left my camera at my boyfriend's house so I took off all my makeup already. Okay, so I have been really really loving this Sigma brush. I love you Sigma for actually making this brush. I don't think I'll go back to any other foundation brushes. And then I've been loving my concealer. This is the NW20, it's a studio MAC Studio Finish Concealer. It has an SPF of 30 and I've been really loving this concealer just because sometimes I don't feel like I want that much coverage on my face but then I still have to cover my eye bags. Um, you can't really see it at the moment because this camera is really crap but my eye bags they're not really bad but they're still quite visible so I have been using this concealer I really love it for under my eyes um, on the other areas of my face such as like blemishes and stuff it seems to be a little bit too heavy I reckon and also a little bit too light because I did get it in once um, a tone lighter than my natural skin color so yeah i've been really really loving this concealer i don't use it every day though just because i don't feel like i need the coverage every day um i find that mixing my foundation my revlon 
photo ready and my BB cream together already creates a good enough coverage for under my eyes and the rest of my face as well so yeah I've been loving this but I don't use it every day next thing I've been loving is actually something I've been running out of and it's really depressing to see that I've been running out of this it is my dolly wink um, brown pencil eyeliner it's only it's so small now you can only like see it that much and I've really been loving lining my eyes with this in the summer I don't like to do um, a dramatic eye I have one on today just because I wanted to darken up the eyes for this video as this camera doesn't really pick up much um, makeup but yeah I really like this eyeliner what I do in the morning is if I'm really running out of time I don't do any eyeshadow but I just use the brown eyeliner and I just line my upper lid and then I stick my false lashes on with like mascara and everything already done um, I find that it's just really really quick and easy and it makes your eye look really natural yet it elongates it if you um, stretch your eyeliner around a little bit it also helps the false eyelashes and your real eyelashes to blend together nicer so I've really really been loving this Dolly Wink Brown eyeliner next thing I've been really loving is actually something that I've showed you guys already it is the Maybelline Volume Express Cat Eyes Mascara in Waterproof and it's a Hello Kitty mascara that Grace sent me and you guys can see this in my love package from uh, Gracious, Gracious Glamour so I've been really really loving this mascara actually I didn't expect much from it because um, you know I love my eye cream mascara this one really really love my eye cream mascara and I didn't really think anything could replace it but I still don't think anything can replace it but this mascara actually does a really good job at lengthening and volumizing my my eyelashes um maybe more for volumizing but one coat really really does a really good job the one kind of looks like a comb so Okay, this camera is pretty crap, but it really looks like a comb and it really reminds me of the Majorica Majolica Lash Expander, those those mascara ones, and I just really, really like it. The formula is awesome. I've never actually tried the Maybelline Volume Express ones, but the formula is awesome and I really, really like it, and I'm kind of going to be upset if I run out of this. So I've actually been using this every single day for my upper lashes and my lower lashes, it makes it a lot easier because usually I use two different mascaras for my upper lashes and my lower lashes just because one mascara doesn't really do a good job but this actually does a really good job but because I like my bottom lashes being so full that I usually go in with this mascara and then my eye cream mascara on top of that so that's the thing I've been loving um, the next thing I've been loving is something I actually blogged about and if you follow my blog you've already seen this it is my model co um, lip liner and it just looks like this and it kind of comes out like um, an angled eyeliner and it's pink the shade is just called pink but um, it's kind of like um, Marilyn Monroe pink it's really really bright pink and I've been loving putting on a brighter lip color on my lips when I have a more neutral eye so really 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 been loving this lip liner and the stain power is absolutely awesome and then not to mention I've been loving absolutely loving my MAC lip gloss in um, Viva Glam Gaga. Just this one over here and it's a just a really 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 nice blue toned pink and I've been using this pretty much on a daily basis. This is so pigmented that sometimes I don't even need a lip lip stick under it so that's why I've been really really liking this and it's so moisturizing it smells really nice so I like to put this on during work so that my lips stay moisturized and it still has that hint of pink color so that's about it for my um, I guess monthly favorites for November and December I guess I can include October because I didn't do a monthly favorites for October but these are the things I've been really loving for the past few months I've been picking them up all the time except for the ones that I kind of just got more recently but um, yeah been loving loving these if you haven't tried the Sigma F80 flat top synthetic brush you guys have to try it out I'm not even affiliated with Sigma but this has got to be their best brush in the world um, this has got to be my favorite brush and I don't think I could say any more about it so I love this brush absolutely love it 
and um, yes yeah, so if you guys haven't tried any of the products then you should definitely try them out and if you have then leave me a comment and tell me what you think about the products you might just love it as much as I do so thank you for watching once again I'm sorry if I talked really fast in this video I think I just haven't done a video in so long that I just feel like telling you guys a lot but anyway, um, hope you guys have an awesome weekend and I'll speak to you guys in my next video. Bye!